Hello everyone, welcome to a game called Assassin's Creed. Now guys, I love the Assassin's Creed games and I basically want to do all of them on my channel. So we're going to start with the first one. Now this game has a few hiccups here and there. Hopefully I have solved them, but I'm not entirely sure. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, play the game and hopefully there will be no issues at all. I applied my heart to no wisdom and to no madness and folly. I perceived that this also was a chasing after wind. Having much wisdom is not good. And it increased knowledge, increased sorrow. We've got a problem. I can't anchor him to the memory. Too much psychological trauma. He's rejecting the treatment, retreating. Desmond, I need you to try and relax. Let me try and stabilize him. Focus. Listen to the sound of my voice. Recognize that what you're seeing isn't real. Just a picture of the past. It can't hurt you. Damn it. It's not working. Give it a moment, mister. You'll adjust. The first time is never easy. We're losing it. That's enough, Mr. Man. We need to pull him out. Now. All right, Desmond. We're going to try and bring you out now. Right. Okay, a little bit trippy. But sure. You okay? <gasps> I told you he'd be fine. Bastard! Now, now, I just saved your life. Saved my life? You kidnapped me. You strapped me into that thing. Animus. It's an animus. I don't even know you people. Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Miles. Information? I'm a bartender, for Christ's sakes. What do you want me to do? Teach you how to mix a martini? We know who you are. What you are. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So, what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Lie down. Alright, I guess I have no choice. So, let's just oh, do whatever decision. he says. Whoa. Where am I? You're inside the Animus. Which is... It's a projector that renders genetic memories in three dimensions. Genetic memory? Seems you'll need a bit of a tutorial. <sighs> Very well. We'll start simple. What is a memory, Mr. Miles? It's the recollection of a past event. Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. What if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. Now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it, the fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, 
but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. Alright, well I will skip the tutorial and we will be right into the game. Wait! There must be another way. This one need not die. An excellent kill. Fortune favors your blade. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. He'll teach you how to disregard everything the Masters taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. I would not have taken the life of an innocent. What I would have done is follow the creed. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task. Only that it's done. But this is not the way of- My way is better. I will scout ahead. Try not to dishonor us further. What is our mission? My brother would say nothing to me. Only that I should be honored to have been invited. The Master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. Treasure? I do not know. All that matters is the Master considers it important. Else he would not have asked me to retrieve it. All right, all right, well, let's get going then. All right, I don't know if I can disable the tutorial. Um, it's kind of big on my screen because it's such an old game. Uh, I don't really need the tutorial to be honest, but, okay. There goes the body. Interesting. There. That must be the Ark. The Ark of the Covenant? Don't be silly. There's no such thing. It's just a story. Then what is it? Quiet. Someone's coming. I want us through this gate before sunrise. The sooner we possess it, the sooner we can turn our attention to those jackals at Masiaf. Robert de Saab. His life is mine. No. We were asked to retrieve the treasure and deal with Robert only if necessary. He stands between us and it. I'd say it's necessary. Discretion, Altair! You mean cowardice. That man is our greatest enemy. And here we have a chance to be rid of him. You have already broken two tenets of our creed. Now you would break the third. Do not compromise the Brotherhood. I am your superior, in both title and ability. You should know better than to question me. Okay. So can I can I slide on ladders in this game? I'm not entirely sure. I can jump though, but I don't want that. Hold Templars! You are not the only ones with business here. Ah. Well, this explains my missing man. And what is it you want? Blood. No! Ah! <laughs> You know not the things in which you meddle as a son. I spare you only that you may return to your master and deliver a message. The Holy Land is lost to him and his. He should flee now while he has the chance. Stay, and all of you will die. Okay, well... Kill the assassin! For a uh, master assassin, because I do believe he is, like Altair is, he kind of makes some stupid mistakes though. 
like why don't why didn't he actually just try an uh, uh, you know an assassination from above? All right. Well, let's get going. Altair, you've returned. Raouf, it is good to see you unharmed. I trust your mission was a success. Is the master in his tower? Yes, yes, sir. Buried in his books as always. No doubt he expects you. My thanks, brother. Safety and peace, Altair. On you as well. Right. Yeah, the UI is a little bit big, though. I don't like that, but yeah. It's an old game. I don't think I can change that. Maybe if I mess around with more settings. I don't really want to do that because this game already, like, runs like shit. Well, for me, right now, it, it's okay. But uh, I don't want to mess with anything because if it crashes and shit, like, yeah. Okay. Oh, there it is. Look at that. What would make someone who's the I don't think there are even subtitles for this game also, which I don't like because subtitles are sometimes pretty nice. Ah, he returns at last. Abbas, where are the others? Did you ride ahead hoping to be the first one back? I know you are loath to share the glory. Silence is just another form of a sin. Have you nothing better to do? I bring word from the master. He waits for you in the library. Best hurry. No doubt you're eager to put your tongue to his boot. Another word and I'll put my blade to your throat. There'll be plenty of time for that later, brother. Hmm. Alright, some people don't like uh, Altair. Which is He's going to hit someone. understandable, I guess. Weapons are restricted? Okay. It is an honor. I'm the only one with a dagger on my back, right? The master waits for them. Hmm. Right. Let's go and meet my mentor. Altair. Master. Come forward. Tell me of your mission. I trust you have recovered the Templar's treasure. There was some trouble, Master. Robert de Sable was not alone. When does our work ever go as expected? It's our ability to adapt that makes us who we are. This time it was not enough. What do you mean? I have failed you. The treasure? Lost to us. And Robert? Escaped. I send you, my best man, to complete a mission more important than any that has come before. And you return to me with nothing but apologies and excuses. I did. Do not speak. Not another word. This is not what I expected. We'll need to mount another force. I swear to you I'll find him. I'll go in. No. You'll do nothing. You've done enough. Where are Malik and Kadar? Dead. No. Not dead. Melik. I still live at least. And your brother? Gone. Because of you! Robert threw me from the room. There was no way back. Nothing I could do. Because you would not heed my warning! All of this could have been avoided! And my brother... My brother would still be alive! Your arrogance nearly cost us victory today. Nearly? I've watched your favorite fail to find. 
Here. Take it. Though it seems I've returned with more than just their treasure. Master, we are under attack. Robert de Sable lays siege to Masiaf's village. So he seeks a battle. Very well. I'll not deny him. Go. Inform the others. The fortress must be prepared. As for you, Altair, our discussion will have to wait. We must make for the village. Destroy these invaders. Drive them from our home. It will be done. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Alright. Let's do some fighting, I guess. Altair, it's good you've come. We need your help. What's happened? Templars. They attacked the village. Most of our people were able to get away. Most. But not all. What do you need me to do? Distract the Templars. Keep them occupied while I rescue those still trapped inside. As you wish. All right. Uh, sword is three, right? Yeah. I like the sword. Well, it's been a while since I played this game, though. But I still remember, like, most of it. It's kind of weird. I think I can counter them all. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. So the combat is not really that difficult, you know, but, you know, it, is, it doesn't have to be always, you know. Okay, a lot of people though, holy shit. Didn't I know there were so many NPCs already in this game. Because it's an older game, you know. I can handle them. I can handle them. Okay. Must be running. Altair, come. Al Mualim's not done with us yet. Where are we going? Up there. We have a surprise plan for our guests. Just do as I do. It should become clear soon enough. Okay. Someone tell me why he's doing that. Well, because we have to defeat an army, that's why. God save him, he's gone mad. Stand on that platform, Altair. Okay. Heretic! Return what you have stolen from me! You've no claim to it, Robert. Take yourself from here before I'm forced to thin your ranks further. You play a dangerous game! I assure you, this is no game. So be it! Bring forth the hostage! <laughs> your village lays in ruins, and your stores are hardly endless. How long before your fortress crumbles from within? How disciplined will your men remain when the wells run dry and their food is gone? My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it and the rewards it brings. Good. Then they shall have it all around. Follow me and do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear. Go to God! Right. Oh, well, on my leg. Quiet. 
it. I think it will break more than just your lap, but sure. I'll stay behind and tend to him. You'll have to go ahead without us. The ropes there will bring you to a trap we've set. Go and release it. Rain death upon our enemies. All right. Oh, almost. I almost. Uh, well, I don't know if you can fall over here, but. All right. So, um, by the way, this game is really competitive. Uh, competitive. What am I saying? Uh, not competitive. Um, wait, what's the word again for it? Repetitive. That was it. Repetitive. <laughs> Um, so I will try and only show you guys um, the assassinations and stuff because um, yeah after a few times doing the same um, like sort of sad missions over and over again it, it gets kind of boring so anyway let me actually focus on a little bit of climbing here there we go to drive Robert from here. His force is broken. It shall be a long while before he troubles us again. Tell me, do you know why it is you are successful? You listened. Were it that you'd listened in Solomon's temple, Altair? All of this would have been avoided. I did as I was asked. No, you did as you pleased. Malik has told me of the arrogance you displayed. Your Disregard for our ways. What are you doing? There are rules. We are nothing if we do not abide by the Assassin's Creed. Three simple tenets, which you seem to forget. I will remind you. First and foremost, stay your blade. From the flesh of an innocent, I know. And stay your tongue, unless I give you leave to use it. If you are so familiar with this tenant, then why did you kill the old man inside the temple? He was innocent. He did not need to die. Your insolence knows no bounds. Make humble your heart, child, or I swear I'll tear it from you with my own hands. The second tenet is that which gives us strength. Hide in plain sight. Let the people mask you such that you become one with the crowd. Do you remember? Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. The third and final tenet, the worst of all your betrayals. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Its meaning should be obvious. Your actions must never bring harm upon us, direct or indirect. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Worse still, you brought the enemy to our home. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you. I am sorry. Truly I am. But I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. Your actions indicate otherwise. And so you leave me no choice. Peace be upon you, Altair. <laughs> All right, well. Interesting He's beginning. a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I, I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. Okay.
Man, the idea alone of the Animus is kind of cool. It's basically a, a VR, you know? But then... Well, yeah, sort of. But you can, I guess, play your ancestors? No, no, no. In later games, you don't need to have ancestors, right? Because you kind of, like, can play whatever you want to be. I think in Black Flag they have that. Like, you're not even related to... Or at least I don't think so. I'm not entirely sure, actually. Anyway, let's listen to their conversation. I appreciate your questioning my authority in front of the prisoner. There's a word for that. I believe it's called insubordination. And I don't appreciate you trying to kill him. There's a word for that, too. I believe it's called stupid. In your case, this isn't my decision. I don't set the deadlines. But I'm smart enough not to challenge them. Do you want to wind up like Mesa? I know the accident has everyone on edge. Which is why there's no time to coddle him. If you push him too hard, he'll shut down. And then we'll have nothing. We have nothing now. But we will. We just need to have a little faith. Fine. But I want you thinking of ways to improve his staying power. We can't afford to stop every time the man breaks a sweat. It's bad enough we have to trace through all of these useless memories. I'll do what I can. Right. Okay, well, he doesn't give a shit about me, that's for sure. Man, I can't even change my clothes. Oh. Okay. So... I think... We have to wait for them, right? We're done for today, Mr. Miles. I suggest you return to your room and get some rest. Okay. Alright. Well, that is it for today, guys. Um... Now, this, of course, is a pretty old game, as I said, Damn so it, the there door. might be some issues, hiccups along the way. I'm sorry if that happens, um, but for right now, it, it does run good now, so let's hope it stays like that. Now, uh, as I said before, I am going to sort of play this game in a little bit of a different way. I'm just going to show you guys the um, assassinations of the targets. Now, I will, of course, include the like backstory and all that stuff, but all the like side missions... I will just remove them so that, um, yeah, so that, so that you guys don't see it, like, every single episode. Uh, maybe the first episode I can do a few here and there, but uh, we will see about that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one.